Hey, I knew it. It's your boy Horseman Solomon. You find those grapes sexy right there, huh? They're all a bunch of boobs and ass. Hey, it's your boy, the Horseman Solomon. You know, my guests here, Aaron Dunson and Franklin Sion. We just cooked up and uh, rounded about a new song. This one's called The Pencil Signature. The Pencil Signature, you guys. Uh, let's do uh, green grapes, the seedless kind. You know, whether you buy from Walmart or a Dominic's or a Jewel or a Safeway or a Costco or, a, you know, grab a whole bundle of them things, man. Grapes are really sexy. Well, here you go. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to uh, perform for you guys the song and the rap called Pencil Signature. Pencil signature. The pencil signature. March 19th of 2022. Hey. Haste for horses. Hey, ever dearest diary. I was just writing you to confess what I felt earlier. Twas us in a starry watery melt. Hope it doesn't bother you. I left my staff in my left hand just to get on the right side of you. My view of things is wilder than the antlers on a caribou. It's almost startling to think how my angels make love to my demons when they argue you. You, 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 you're good, you. You're good, you. You're good. And how are you? By the way, you brushed my side. Reminds me of a barbecue and a party with naked girls jumping on a trampoline. Bought a bouquet of dandy lions from a shaman In a cave filled with bats Busy standing in a line next to A pregnant woman who's cradling a suckling baby in her arms At my front's a talking parrot Who's ignoring the very words I desperately wanted to tweet Blame my subliminal thoughts for spewing out of its stomach The rusty key I wanted my mind to keep as a secret A secret I once taught a monkey to sniff out a fresh banana and to add to his agenda before he could bang it and smack it up. Taught him to light a candle first. Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch. I did. Rarely do I walk under a fiery coal and burn a toe. Oddly enough, I almost always constantly tell myself I'd run straight into the card of the love of my life at the shopping mall. Thinking out loud while my girlfriend holding my favorite fruits in the basket at the grocery store. As I'm pulling out my wallet to pay the clerk she starts to blush as i say hello my girlfriend gallops and squeezes my hand which almost broke i swallowed my cheer of cup licked my bottom lip she jumped and nibbled the upper one looked at the cashier and says hi what's up and how much the stranger almost red like a boiling pot rolled her bloodshot eyes and her sleeves to her elbows whisking the printed receipt from the machine hands over the change here and thank you i appreciate And gave the crispy bills to the bagger who worked for tips. So I says here, I figured you needed it most. More than I do. He replies, wow, really? You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Back in the day, I used to bag just in the way you did for us, dude. I noticed you put the perishables where it needed to. Away from the vegetables and soap. Plus, you doubled up the plastic bags. And on top of that, doubled the paper bags that was underneath it. I thought that was cool. Looking back on my past, oh my past, looking back on my past, oh how the time flies by so fast, though I look at a stranger with a mask, though I accomplish everything that the people asks of me, I can't understand why my happiness doesn't ever seem to last, doesn't ever seem to last, doesn't ever seem to last, stating the facts, I recline my love sofa, lay there and relax, lay there and relax. I decline and deny whoever call in, put my phone on silent, take a break from sobriety, blaze up a cigar and enjoy a quiet moment while I hold my lover's hand in a handsome manner, we climax and in our bondage, we both pay a master's ransom, accomplished, suddenly the bells ring, I fancy my backpack, head out of the classroom, unlock the master lock for my locker, swapped out my textbooks and headed to science, at the hallway I noticed a couple arguing, Then suddenly she slaps him in the face and knees him under the belt below the waist. And in the chaos, I didn't panic. 
I actually got a kick out of the drama. I lost my balance and dropped my pencil and ruler on the marble floor. As I crouched down, a beautiful damsel helped herself to my gadgets. Her bosom brushed by the side of my uniform. I had my eyes closed the whole time in the blisses of passion. While my eyelids slowly woke up from my fantasy, I adjusted the stairway to my heaven. I was glad to see her that she had her eyes closed too. Seemingly, I had never seen her before in this building. I blinked again to my surprise. This time, she had her eyes directly on my irises. I fidgeted as my body shaked uncontrollably. She kept her demeanor poised, so I regained my composure. I couldn't even thank her. I couldn't even think at all of what to grab in my vocabulary. So I brushed it off, gently accepted it. In my heart, what I felt was a deja vu. No love lost, no love found. No love lost, no love found. As I thought, we ran about her separate ways. I glanced with my peripherals to my set of drip. She was lingering, hovering, just a step behind. I can almost feel her breath on my neck. I entered the classroom, and boy, you wouldn't guess it. And boy, you wouldn't guess it. She rolled a chair behind the desk and introduces herself. She says, hi, I'm Mrs. The Love of Your Life, your substitute, your substitute, your substitute. Hey guys, I hope you me. Well, that was um, the pencil signature. Your horseman, the writer, Solomon and Aaron Glenton and Franklin sign, you guys. Our frozen handles and our mangoes. And don't forget to follow the white rabbit. Eat your fruits and vegetables. You know, your your yogurts, your grilled cheeses, and and everything that that's with it. Shout out to Nostalgic Lofi. Horseman and Solomon, y'all. Shout out to the harvest. <laughs>